All right, Adam, going on to our next topic, which is a Street Fighter TV show is being produced, a live action one. Yeah, that's a little weird. That is kind of odd to me because Street Fighter t- Street Fighter the series has a very distinguishable look that feels very difficult to me at least to, to replicate to, in real life. to replicate in real life. Obviously, we have the uh Van Damme <laughs> Street Fighter movie yeah, which was a steaming pile of shit uh you shut your whore mouth <laughs> what do you want you like it i loved that movie yeah i mean it's not it's not is it like the mortal Kombat Com- and mortal Kombat for you i mean i liked mortal Kombat as well i know i like the first first mortal Kombat, but do you put it on like that level like you kind of know it's not like yeah i know good. it's not great but like it worked <laughs> you thought it worked yeah it worked. i didn't think it worked at all i thought it was no, terrible i mean it for it being one of Roller Julio's last movies, too. Yeah, that was... Actually, I liked him in that. I thought yeah. he was... Uh, the Nostalgia Critic, I know it's going back to it, but he always does that clip. He's like, of course! <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, what did he die from? Did he die from, like, yeah, cancer? Had cancer? He had cancer. Oh, man. He Bowel was... cancer, or tough oh, cancer, something like that. He was super talented, too. He was Gomez Adams. Mm-hmm. That, and I love those movies. I love the Adams Family franchise. But so um, the Street Fighter TV show is being uh, produced and distributed by Entertainment One Studios. And it's based off of a web series that debuted in 2014 called Street Fighter Assassin's Fists that Capcom fully supported, by the way. Now, before you do this, just let me say this one thing. It's weird that this live-action Street Fighter movie with Van Damme was centered around Van Damme as Guile because Guile was like a last-minute character thrown in so that Americans would have somebody they wanted to play. Yep, I always it was like an afterthought, and then they <laughs> made the movie centered around him. Well, I mean, you're not going to make Van Damme uh, Ryu. No, but I'm saying like he could have been in the movie and it been centered around Ryu like the entire Street Fighter franchise. Yeah, is. but Van Damme was really big at that time. Yeah. That was like his era. All right, so. but yeah, go ahead and continue. Oh, so um, I, what I was doing was I was I checked out maybe like a trailer for the Blu-ray DVD like thing and was checking out what does this look like, and um, it had a very Mortal Kombat feel to it. Like, yeah, they're probably the most screen accurate versions of those characters you're gonna get where they don't look fake. Yeah, but at the same time, like this is cheesy. Yeah. Like, it, it felt like a web series, and it felt yeah. like, oh, man, I could totally watch a couple of these here and there, and it was like a 12-part series, Yeah, and it looked okay, but I was like, I think it clearly, it was taking itself seriously to the point where I was like, this is kind of corny. Uh, I don't know, and so it's like, how are they going to, how are they going to bring this without it being corny, because Street Fighter is corny. Yeah. It is. It's yeah. just, it's a, it's cheesy. Yeah. It's, it's 80s cheese ball. Like, yeah. that's where it belongs. So, I mean, the web series was produced by Machinima and was distributed on YouTube. Like, it, it's almost like that whenever they did that Mortal Kombat legacy. Um, do you remember when they did that? It was like a real gritty, dark Mortal Kombat where, like, Baraka was, like, a serial murderer who, like stuck blades to his arm and like stuck it in boiling water so that his skin would like fuse over the blade no uh michael j white was uh Jax, i believe yeah no i didn't see it yeah but michael j white is awesome yeah no he is so i mean they did that and i was like yeah this definitely feels like a youtube web series i don't know this just seems kind of odd to me um i don't know how this is gonna work I mean, what, you didn't see the the, the footage, so yeah. it's really hard for you to kind of gauge what you, what like what I saw. Yeah. But I mean, it could work, but it's got to know that it, it cannot take itself so seriously. It cannot. No. And when they when they announced the whole that, thing, the whole thing doesn't make any sense at all. Like this this evil organization Shadowloo is trying to take over the whole fucking world. They have like five at this point in the Street Fighter series. There's like five bosses at Shadowloo. There's, um, it doesn't make any sense. This one For some reason, that... there's a tournament that's deciding the fa- fighting tournament that's deciding the fate of the world. Yeah. Which, like, in Mortal Kombat, that's just as ridiculous, but it's like there's it, an it... otherworldly creature that's holding them, you know, it makes a little yeah, bit more sense. The winner gets to decide what the happens. Fate. Yeah. So th- that actually works. But yeah, th- th- this version is based off of Street Fighter 2 storyline with uh, Shadowloo 
of them, the four main people, you know, Guile, Ryu, Ken, and Chun-Li going up against them, Bison. That's what... And Sagat and um, Balrog and uh, Vega were all part of Shadow at that point. Oh, were they? They yeah. were all parts of it? Okay, yeah. well, then maybe they. that's how they're going to incorporate it. But I don't know. It just seems really... I, I thought that when I heard this, when I saw a Street Fighter TV show, you know what I immediately thought? I thought Castlevania. Like, I thought the Castlevania animated show. Oh, yeah. Like, that's how they were going to do it. Let's yeah. do an anime style version of it. Because which Castlevania done that was, before. which was Castlevania was very successful, and yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for the the second new season. yeah for the second season. That's how I thought they were gonna do it. But when they said live action, I was like, dude, this is just gonna be cheesy as fuck. I hope that it's not. Like I want to watch the show and not sit there and like roll my eyes half the time. But I just feel like you that's feel like that's what's gonna be that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, I feel like that's exactly what's yeah. gonna happen. I mean, that's pretty much what you think, too. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, my expectations are not high. We'll say maybe that. that'll be the good thing, though. Our expectations are so low. I mean, they're like the gum on my shoe. So maybe anything <laughs> anything will be better than that. Yeah, that's, that's true. It sounds odd. 